Denver 7 Now is sponsored by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. Tonight we know a blown tire is to blame for Thursday's horrific crash on C-470. State troopers say Samuel Molina of Commerce City was behind the wheel of a semi when his left front tire popped, sending him spiraling through a guardrail and into traffic. The tractor trailer slammed right into Brenta Montague's SUV, knocking them both through a concrete and barrier into a bike path below. Montague was from Lakewood. Both died on scene. A principal and superintendent in an Eastern Plains school district has been fired on grounds that she was never actually qualified to hold either position. All of this began after our sister station KOAA discovered Yonda Leonard lied on her resume and falsified credentials when she applied at Plainview RE2 school district in Kiowa County. For now, she is still allowed to teach kindergarten through sixth grade, but the state is considering revoking those privileges as well. 16,000 students and 200 staffers at Thompson School District R2J may have had their personal information compromised in a massive data breach. This is the second local district to fall victim to this cyber attack this year. Now, roughly 64,000 current and former students in Boulder Valley were also targeted. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here is a look at your forecast. A hot holiday weekend on the way as we see temperatures climb into the mid-90s and high 90s by Labor Day. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jacqueline Allen.